Okay, Sam, this is for ONGC. Please tell me about yourself. Sure. Uh, hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for this opportunity. My name is Jonathan Mathabura, and I belong to Sipsagar district in the state of Assam. Sipsagar is a historic place, and it has long been ONGC's one of many actively managed assets. My father is a cultivator, while my mother takes care of all the household jobs. I did my schooling, 10 plus 2, from Sainik School, Gualpara, where I actively participated in MCC, athletics, and sports, particularly basketball. Then I pursued my graduation with chemistry honors from Sipsagar College, under the affiliation of Deburger University. During the, that period of time, I was able to complete a theoretical project under the National Initiative on Undergraduate Science conducted by Homi Bhabha Center for Science Education, TI for Mumbai. Throughout the entire uh, course of my undergraduation, I was a recipient of UGC's Ishan Uday Special Scholarship Scheme. Thereafter, I completed my post-graduation from Tejpur University in the year 2021. During second semester of MSc, I was selected for a summer fellowship in IACS Kolkata by the Indian Academy of Sciences, although I couldn't complete the project due to COVID-19 lockdown. Um, for my master's thesis work, I synthesized uh, teen oxide nanoparticles and then characterized them with the help of various analytical techniques, such as a Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy, powder XRD, and scanning electron microscope. In the following year, that is in 2022, I was able to qualify for GATE as well as the SRNet Junior Research Fellowship. Ma'am, I believe that energy security is very crucial for a nation's socio-economic development. ONGC has been representing India, India's energy security uh, with its pioneering efforts uh, for the past many decades now, and it has achieved many milestones in its quest to securing India's energy needs. That is why I'm inclined to work for ONGC and wish to see myself as a part of the community of energy soldiers. Thank you. Um, who gave you an idea that uh, ONG is a better option and you should go for that direction? Like someone guided you about ONGC? Sorry, ma'am, could you pardon? Someone guided you about ONGC? Like uh, any of your seniors or friends is there in ONGC? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am, uh, seniors. Okay. Senior, so what they told, like, uh, what is the work environment? What they told you that why should you fetch your goal towards ONGC? Uh, actually, uh, ONGC has been actively present in my native place uh, since the past many decades. And I have grown up observing ONGC in my neighborhood and uh, also my seniors from college. And uh, through their lives, I have come to know about the exemplary governance practices at ONGC, the progressive work culture, the work-life balance, monetary and other miscellaneous benefits, and the length ONGC goes for the welfare of its employees and their dependents. So I think this uh, uh, active presence of ONGC and ONGCs around me have had uh, has a yeah. tremendous influence on my inclination towards this particular organization. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jayant. If it is like ONGC you like about ONGC, uh, if I ask you any of the contribution you have made towards a nation so far, what will be that contribution? Um, towards the nation? Yeah. yeah. Um, when I was uh, uh, during my uh, university, uh, during, during the time I spent in Tejpur University, I was a participant in uh, uh, I was an active participant at NSS, which is a national service scheme. Uh, during that period of time, I, uh, along with my friends, uh, my friends and I conducted a awareness uh, program for the cultivators, the farmers in Arunachal Pradesh, for the cultivation of turmeric and a large cardamom. So um, I think, uh, although it is a very small uh, act, um, I think uh, that way I have contributed uh, just a little bit to the development of farmers, the society, and uh, uh, I'm not pretty sure, but I hope it's for the country as well. Okay, great. So, uh, just a second. Yeah. Uh, Jayant, one more thing if I want to ask you is that uh, you want to go for ONGC. You have been into a post-graduation. You also told me one of the scholarship you got. Yes, ma'am. Something like that. What was the scholarship about? It was Isha, UGC's Ishan Uday Special Scholarship Scheme. It was... Uh, Go for teaching, like you can be a very good mentor also. Why you never thought for a teaching? You have a JRF. You can go for a research. You can go for PhD. Why you were like just only PSUs? 
uh, uh, ma'am, uh, throughout the past few years of my education, I have tried to explore research opportun opportunities and gain experience in it. But uh, now I have realized that I'm not as passionate about pursuing a career in academia as I am about working in the industry. I am, at this point of time, I am more inclined to work and learn about how things are operated on an industrial scale, start a professional career, and uh, while sticking to the application of my subject knowledge. Okay, what's been your strength and weakness? Jen, what's your strength and weakness? Jen, can you hear me? Jen, uh, is your network lost? Can you hear me? Hello? Jayant, can you hear me? Jayant, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, your network was lost, I uh, guess, sorry. right? Your connection uh, had a problem? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to tell you some things like which I want still, like changes are required. See, I've noted your entire introduction, whichever you spoke. Uh, last time also I told you, Jayant, your introduction is lengthy. It's genuinely long. And you know, think about it. Like first is what are the things? Are some specialization, you can little bit reduce it out. Parents part, you can skip it out. Like my father is this, my mother is into this. Skip that part. Okay. Rest is well, okay, okay. And then you were just talking about like project work, then special scholarship, then post graduation, then second year. This uh, and some you were qualified into this. So you not to mention the university which is inclined to this. Basically, focus like you are into something when you go for a this uh, interview. The main things which will be asked from you will be your project work, some kind of a scholarship. Like which are the portions of discussion? Your city won't be into discussion too much. Okay. But second is. Yeah, yeah. But I would like to emphasize on that because uh, it is one of the assets of ONGC. So no, I that is an asset. That is why you mentioned it in the very first instance. Parents portion, you can miss it out. I told you last time also. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, in, in the also said that if, uh, if uh, ma'am, but you also said that if uh, my family background is from a very meager uh, economic uh, status, so yeah, it will be helpful if I mention it out. No. So, starting with yeah. the line is like that, that then you have to limit certain things in your introduction, which you can avoid, which you think you can genuinely limit because it is crossing a long portion. And I tell you very frankly, because I am taking interactions since long and I will be like, okay, this person is speaking, speaking, speaking. No, that is not a way to interact, right? That is why I told you, you have a very good vocals. You have a very good way of conversing. That is a plus point of you. Do not waste in emphasizing wrong information. Maybe say you have good content, but we need to limit it out. Now I tell you, like, I got scholarship in eight. I got scholarship in 10. If I'm telling that, I can simply say that I was a scholarship student in my school. That's it. Rather than passing, like, I got 130th rank in Punjab, then I got 98% in this. So no emphasizes because that's not going to help me in longer run. Okay. Let it be all that I was a scholarship student. I won a scholarship. That's it. You have to be rigid in your lines because I tell you, you're a great personality and it will go really good. I had a great personality before also last time, but the way it was that your personalities match, but the drawbacks is same because you have lots of content to tell that comes as a negative portion. Right now, it's, you are not thinking about it. And I don't want to waste that. You should waste into this. Okay. So please, first thing is you come like there are 12 points, like suppose uh, Assam City, Father, Mother, NCC, graduation, limit it out what I can skip. What is something I want to skip? I can skip, cut it out and then move to the next. Clear? So I do that, that is very important. Do not lengthy your answer. More you speak, more you are trapped into the questions. Mm -hmm. Do not speak lengthy, do not speak more. Very limited, yes, no, some subtle questions and answers. That's a very good for your introduction because the people often don't want to listen too long. You also don't want to listen too long. Okay, so both the ways. It should not be one time interaction. Clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now Jain, uh, you speak. I think what if I limit out uh, about my completely leave out the parents part, uh, the details about my parents part? You just uh, say that about... uh, even belonging to a meager family, I through my academic uh, skills was uh, won scholarship into this and this, or you backed uh, this uh, rank into it. Don't mention about what your parents do. Simply that 
even coming from a belonging to a very meager family through my academic excellence i was able to crack this exams and all that i kept my spirit high by ending an introduction like why ongc on your own without even asking that i would be i want to be an ongc i would be fruitful for it it was not even asked it was just start jaya tell me about yourself that was the question the question was this much so you need to speak this much okay uh, should i also skip the part where i may uh, talk about why i'm interested in ongc should i also leave it out or should i keep yeah it? just one line if you really want to tell that yeah you want to go for ongc it can be like yeah i'm a very passionate person or i think that i will be a great asset for the ongc and thank you for my introduction that can be there if it is that ongc is this and it belongs to this and that not needed okay, okay. try to limit it out i told you last time also this time also the same a mistake and don't uh, because you have a great potential don't lower it down because of the skills that you have that you are telling lots of things okay yeah. use it wisely that's important when is your interview on 3rd of february 3rd feb no so see you have time for that just think again revise it out come again we will have an interaction again okay yeah okay jan all the best take care thank you